The Clackamas River is a uniquely diverse river system. With its source high in the Cascade Mountains, the upper reaches of the river are part of the National Wild and Scenic River System. At lower elevations, conifer forests are actively managed within the watershed, and dams provide power, while irrigation water is drawn from the Clackamas and its tributaries for agricultural use. The lower Clackamas River Basin is convenient to Portland and is developing rapidly. It offers breathtaking mountain views with native wildflowers and wildlife, and direct access for fishing, boating, and hiking. The Clackamas River provides drinking water to nearly 400,000 people. The Clackamas River Basin Council is an environmental nonprofit that engages communities and landowners in watershed improvement projects to ensure clean water and to improve fish and wildlife habitat in the lower Clackamas River watershed. No better way than by air to offer a unique perspective of several recent Clackamas River Basin Council restoration projects. At the junction of Mosier Creek and Little Clear Creek near Estacada is a magnificent working sustainable forest property that is part of the holdings of Port Blakely, a family-owned company for five generations. Port Blakely has a long history of valuing strong environmental stewardship and is working with the Clackamas River Basin Council to enhance nearly two miles of Little Clear and Mosier Creeks for the native fish populations that spawn and live there. This project was planted in 2018 and the native plants have already gotten a great start at creating a lush riparian zone along these free-flowing creeks. Farther down the watershed, Bonnie Lure State Recreation Area is an Oregon State Parks property at the confluence of Eagle Creek and the Clackamas River. Eagle Creek provides spawning and rearing habitat for endangered coho, chinook, and steelhead. This 68-acre Oregon State Parks Recreation Area is open to the public year-round. Decades of logging, farming, and development allowed invasive plants to take hold and smother the important native species that are key food and shelter for wildlife. Funded by grants from the U.S. Forest Service and the Oregon Watershed Enhancement Board, the Clackamas River Basin Council is now working to remove invasive plants and increase biodiversity by re-establishing tree cover and native shrubs that reduce erosion and flooding. From high above, Barton Park looks green and vibrant. However, this county park situated along the Clackamas River is Clackamas County's most used park with full riverfront and riparian natural resource areas. Overuse of the riparian area by fishermen and floaters had damaged native plants and allowed invasive ivy and blackberry to take over. Clackamas River Basin Council, with funding from the Oregon Watershed Enhancement Board, coordinated the work of several partners to restore and protect this key main stem habitat. A summer youth crew funded by the Oregon State Marine Board removed invasive plants and defined trail corridors, while the Rivers of Life Center, a youth education and natural resource training organization, constructed trails and fencing to protect the recovering riparian corridor and planted over 400 feet of important riverside habitat. From the air, the open fields along Clear Creek North Natural Area stand out from the forested slopes around it. The land was farmed for many years, leaving very little riparian habitat along this section of the creek. This free-flowing tributary to the Clackamas River supports 11 different species of fish, including threatened species of Chinook, winter steelhead, and late-run coho. To restore the riparian habitat, the Clackamas River Basin Council removed almost four acres of invasive species and planted 9,500 native plants as part of Portland General Electric's Shade Our Streams program. To restore in-stream fish habitat along 3,000 feet of the stream, Clackamas River Basin Council partnered with Metro, the Oregon Watershed Enhancement Board, and the U.S. Forest Service. Heavy equipment was used to reconnect alcoves and place large wood logs to provide off-channel cover and reduce flow velocity during high water. As native plants mature along this section of Clear Creek, they will shade the stream, reducing water temperatures and providing cover for resident and migrating fish and other wildlife. CRBC's hard work to improve watershed habitat is expansive and is experienced by people in the region in so many uniquely different ways. From production to recreation, the Clackamas means many different things to many people who experience it. In the fast-moving Upper Clackamas River system, whitewater kayaking is a favorite pursuit. Sam Drevo started energy kayaking to promote the sport of kayaking and to protect the health of our rivers. He started a nonprofit, We Love Clean Rivers, and has partnered with Clackamas River Basin Council to recruit volunteers every year to support the Down the River cleanup. Well, the Clackamas is important to me because I went to college in Portland, and the Clackamas River is the closest river with moving water, and so I spent a lot of time uh, in my college years on the Clackamas. The first couple years that we ran the event, we had the Clackamas County dive team 
come out and bring eight or 10 additional scuba tanks and they literally we're in a silver sea of cans on the bottom of the river. And so we created a nonprofit called We Love Clean Rivers to just make sure that the event continued into the future to try to, you know, bring in, you know, more partnerships. I think last time I checked, there was 22 organizations involved in the event. It's something that the whole community has gotten, you know, has embraced. And I think that it will work to benefit the river and clean water um, into the future. The CRBC brought all the relationships uh, from the county, all the agencies, and really kind of the following year, it, it doubled and then it kept doubling every year for quite a few years. And so it was basically connecting the recreation community with a small watershed nonprofit. That was the success. The forested slopes of the Clackamas watershed support working forests that can be managed to improve habitat for fish and wildlife, as well as produce harvestable timber. In the Souter Creek subwatershed, small woodlot owner David Bugney has been proactive in managing his forest acreage to best protect streams and wetlands while reducing impacts from harvesting timber. We became connected with the Clackamas watershed when we first moved out here in about 1990. And, uh, being on a creek, which is part of the Clackamas River watershed, that tied us to it. And so I've always been interested in things like that. So I read as much as I could to try to understand more about what the Clackamas River is all about. And that really got me uh, enticed about it. The Clackamas River Basin Council has been of great help to us. And we first became involved about nine or 10 years ago when they came out and they gave us seedlings to plant in the riparian area. But then in 2015, Things really started to get going when they uh, enrolled us in the Shade Our Streams program. And so we had about 1,400 feet of creek bank that was uh, where we had exotic reed canary grass and Himalayan blackberry where the folks at CRBC came out, removed that, and then we planted with uh, almost a couple of dozen different native species of trees and plants and shrubs that we have around us here. And then following that in 2017, uh, I worked with CRBC to write a, a small OWEB grant to install additional large woody debris, boulders and gravels farther upstream. And so I think those three activities have been the principal things that CRBC has helped us with. And it's been an invaluable organization, very important to us. Clean, cool water is necessary to the survival of our native fish and other aquatic life in the Clackamas watershed. Tim Shibahara has lived in the Clackamas Basin for most of his life. As a fish biologist with power producer Portland General Electric, Tim has been involved in developing new approaches to ensure quality habitat and safe passage through dams for endangered salmon and other fish species in the Clackamas River Basin. I think the thing that's drawn me to the Clackamas River is that I moved here in the early 70s and this is the, the basin that I know, this is the streams that I've always played in as a kid. As a kid, I was always fascinated with the Clackamas Basin and the tributaries and streams, playing with the, you know, the fish and the salamanders and frogs that I would find in it. And so that fascination kind of led me to college where I studied fish biology. And my first work coming back to the Clackamas Basin was with the Forest Service um, doing research. The cool thing about the Clackamas River is that it has some very viable salmon and steelhead runs. And so of the Willamette Basin and of the Lower Columbia, it's really one of the hallmark basins for fish health. I came to Portland General Electric about 20 years ago. And for me, when I was with the Forest Service, working with the biologists at PGE was something that um, I really enjoyed. They had a lot of passion for improving fish runs in the Clackamas and improving river health. What we're looking at here is the floating surface collector at North Fork Reservoir. And what this does is it improves fish passage around the dams for the baby fish. One of the things that we found through a lot of research was that our fish passage here was okay for most of the baby fish, but some species like Chinook did not guide very well to uh, certain types of structures. So we made this one, which was a lot larger, which really does a really good job of passing Chinook downstream. The floating surface collector has dramatically increased survival on the Clackamas River for baby fish making their way to the ocean. For me as a biologist, I think the thing that I enjoy most about being out on the river is I love observing change. And so I love seeing how the river changes after floods. I love seeing the changes after each season. I love the lower Clackamas right now because of all the change that's going on down there with, 
with the, the, the Shade Our Streams program, with the gravel augmentation program going on down there. And so the goal of the, of the Shade Our Streams program that PGE partnered with the Clackamas River Basin Council on was a goal of planting 30 miles of riparian area. And so we have hit that this year and we're still in maintenance mode for some of the sites, but it's, it's been a huge success. As the urban area begins to develop along the lower sections, the Clackamas River is becoming a mecca for outdoor recreation just outside of Portland. Along its banks are opportunities for fishing, floating, paddling, hiking, bicycling, and camping. Tina Johnson discovered the Clackamas River on a kayak. She now floats the river on multiple weekends in the summer months, on many of those days picking up trash left in the river by others. I moved here in 1993 and a friend introduced me to the river in 1995. And we put in right here at, at Barton Park and then we took out at Carver and I just fell in love with it. I love the water and I had taken some trips to Hawaii and I met this gentleman on the beach who was a very friendly man and he, it seemed like he was always looking out for the people who were new there by telling them to wear your fins and making sure you're not caught in a riptide. But I also noticed that he was picking up trash. And, and I asked him why, and, and then asked him who he was with. And he was not connected with anybody, but he just did it out of his own heart. I was so inspired by it, and I felt like, yes, one person can actually make a big difference. And if I can inspire others to, to make that difference as well, that would be awesome. When I found out about the amount of garbage that I encountered last summer, I knew that this was a bigger problem than, than just for me to solve. I met Susie uh, from the Clackamas River Basin Council, and we partnered on ideas on how we can keep the river clean and just help people be aware of how we can respect the river and the people who use it. I think everybody loves the river that much that they would want to help and chip in and do their part. The Clackamas River watershed is a resource and an environmental treasure. Your support is needed to ensure that it is protected in the face of increasing development and climate change. Because when the river thrives, we all thrive, especially when we work together.